<clears throat> Bob Weigel here of Sound Doctor, and I am going to show you something really strange. What we have here is an AD80 <clears throat> that I've got torn open here. Ibanez delay. Okay, observe. Now, watch. Oh! That's not the cord. I'm not hitting the cord. Do you notice how as I just let a little air out of my mouth that the whole thing, the signal dies. Now we sent this back to a guy and he said it didn't work at all. After it had done this before and I cleaned up the board and it worked fine, but we sent it back there and it didn't work at all when he got it. I couldn't get it to fail and now it's doing it again. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. The intermittencies are so fun. I'm going to take some alcohol here. I'm going to prove to you this is not a cooling effect. Whoa, wait a minute. It didn't do this before. Maybe I found something that I didn't find before. Hmm. Right in there. Hmm. Alcohol isn't very conductive. It's 99% ethanol. Hmm. I might clean it up a little bit while we're trying. But, uh, don't try this at high voltage, though. Just, you know. <laughs> this is only running a 9 volt power supply, so. Okay, here it comes again. Now, let's repeat. Whoa, right in there. Well, well, well. <laughs> Maybe my brain being near it. Not there. Right there. There's the spot that seems to be really sensitive. Maybe I clear coat it, huh? Anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, <laughs> something is hanging in the breeze there. just a tiny amount of air out right next to it. <laughs> Pretty wild, huh? Well, I soldered a few joints and uh, notice how now it's still affecting it, but it's different. Oh, we got louder. Oh, that cuts out. Well, it improved it. It's faster at coming back. Maybe if I suck on it, turn up the suck. I think I inhaled some bad stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> well, and the question might arise just to further document this phenomena. Question might arise. Notice I'm shielding the back side of this thing with my hand. Okay, now if I, well, hitting something that's affecting it now. Okay, watch. No effect or minimal. Immediate kill if I go on the back side. Still does it. We replaced the transistor that seemed most suspect. And at first it was fine. I almost would have shipped this thing. I tested it for a while and it didn't wouldn't respond, but now it's doing it again. What in the world is going on here? After ah, much confusion. I had made a measurement here in the um, this part of the circuit where we've got um, the lines coming from this flip-flop, which flip-flops when you hit the switch for bypass or not, and um, these junctions here have one meg resistors coming from them and a filter uh, for noise there, and uh, they go to the sides of the flip-flop, uh, which will pull up or down the different sides here to turn these FETs 
alternatively on or off to let in the bypass or the effect signal. Now, um, <clears throat> I had measured here before and I got no change when I uh, blew on it, but actually I must have been getting a bad measurement because it actually does drop the side that's uh, 10 volts down uh, below 8 and the signal dies when that little bit of uh, drain is encountered on the uh, gate there. <coughs> be a new act, you know. <laughs> Just don't breathe and you're fine. You breathe, you mess up the whole thing. <whistles> breathe and it's gone. You know, I've come to, I, I did a measurement and I found out that, uh, Actually, it's. Uh, I think it needs a clear coat shot. This this thing is. Uh, it's got one mega ohm resistors going to a junction of the diode that goes to the uh, and the capacitor that filters it, and the diode that goes to the gate of the FET. Now, <clears throat> this one mega resistor you would think would have plenty low impedance and it measures fine, but for some reason it's that section between the one meg and the uh, a diode that is actually dropping in voltage there where the capacitor is when I breathe on it. So I, I'm baffled. I'm completely baffled. And it's on two different independent sides. So I think the solution is, even though it ruins a perfectly good theremin, hmm, as it's drying down. I guess that was the last of the vapors uh, burning off there. Seems all good now. Hmm. That's pretty much dry. Not quite dry. Notice though, doesn't cut out anymore, does it?